Hello everyone, my name is Jess Venus with Life Force Energy. If this is your first time getting to know me, I love doing energy reports. I do energy reports for my sessions and I do energy reports live whenever Spirit tells me to come on in and share what's going on on the energy frequency front of the planet. So let's start right away and go into what is Venus retrograde. Well, from what I'm gathering from my clients, and just what I'm picking up energetically, it's all about love thyself, your self-worth, your self-esteem. So Venus retrograde started as of December 29th, no, December, excuse me, 19th, January 29th when it ends. What's been going on since December 19th, all the way up to this present time and going into January 29th? Well, a lot of you have been writing me and letting me know what the relationships you've been dealing with. A lot of them are family, friendships, uh, new relationships, older relationships, relationships to be a big subject matter right now. So let's go into about Venus retrograde. What is the sole purpose of really using this cycle to your advantage? Well, this whole six week front is all about focus on your love, your finances, your self-esteem, relationships, things of that nature. And so what's happening is, is that this is the opportunity to start seeing who you are what do you value in your life? What are your needs and who's going to meet them? So a lot of the times we want other people to meet our needs or to catch up with our, uh, our lives and just be in sync with us. And we all vibrate at different frequencies. So that's not always possible, right? So what I would highly suggest at this time is that I want you to start looking inwards. Venus is about love, relationships, money, communication, things of that nature. And I like Venus retrogrades because it has this capacity to break down any resistances that you have against yourself. So it's about being good to yourself. So you may have noticed within this time frame that you've been wanting to maybe buy new clothes, try some new makeup, do a new hairdo, uh, what, you know, putting yourself on a vacation. Uh, there is other ways that you can, you know, give yourself the things that you need and not expect someone else to do it. You could do it yourself. And so this is a really beautiful process that Venus puts us all in, in this cycle of knowing who we are and how to value ourselves. So I would suggest in this time is, yeah, go ahead and use this Venus retrograde and journal. This is a time of gratitude comes and you'll start seeing my post or on our Facebook page, how we talk about affirmations and just being grateful, gratitude, attitude, just being in a place of gratitude. Because when we are acknowledging what we have, what we've been given, then it's easier for us to see what we're what we're receiving, what is coming, okay? And if you're like, I don't know how to do that, grab yourself a journal and I want you to write every single day, at least up until the Venus retrograde cycle. So here's your homework, up until January 29th, so starting today, how many days is that? 10 days. I want you to write down what you're grateful for and how do you feel about what you're grateful for? A lot of times we are so distracted with life and pulled in so many directions that we can't even see what's right in front of our two feet. So that is some way that you can start learning how to journal, how to feel, how to experience it, because I'm sure you got a lot to say. Here's the other thing that I want to talk about, because it's talking about re relationships. So many people get lost in other people's problems and they don't tune into their own. Venus retrograde is going to make you tune into yourself. It's going to make you realize perhaps you've had this breaking down of your own boundaries for the sake of saving someone else. Well, then there's something wrong there too, because that means you didn't put any boundaries up, which means there's something going on with your self-esteem and self-love. If you're overexerting yourself to people that don't even do it for themselves and then let alone, they won't even do it for you. So Instead of putting all your focus in helping someone else to make another step, you take the steps, what you need, and focus in within yourself. And that's what Venus Retrograde is going to do. It's going to help you in that way. So if you've been neglecting yourself, then it's all about rewarding yourself. That means checking in how you feel, the relationships you've got, 
How are you changing your daily routine? Because if you do nothing in your life, chances are you're going to reap nothing too. So you want those changes? You've got to be the change first in your life. Now, I want to say to a lot of you, when I give you recommendations on my energy reports, like, you know, a really nice bath, maybe a favorite meal or a movie that you love with someone that you really care about, um, going for a hike, maybe getting your nails or whatever it is to lift up your spirits, do it for yourself. And I noticed that um, some people have a hard time with that. They they're not comfortable with rewarding themselves. And Venus retrograde is going to cause you to realize that you deserve it. You're worthy. The, whatever the little things are or the magnanimous things either way you're worthy so take a moment and step back and let other people discover what they need to do for themselves be there when it's you know when it's called when you're being called but when it's time for you to pull back and let them find their path discover your own so venus retrograde is all about your self-worth your love your relationships things of that nature this is a great time for you to find greater balance and you got to pay attention to your emotional self. So if there's parts of you in your emotional self where you're feeling as though you're not getting enough, then you want to help yourself on the emotional level so that you can feel better. And so then I ask people, what can you do to make yourself feel better? And they're like, I don't know. So that's why I gave you guys different references of what you can do to make yourself better whether it's writing out how you feel your gratitude what you've accomplished in the day i don't care if it's like i got my laundry done today that's a big deal everyone's pulled in so many directions that even that in itself is amazing so you want to also look at those wonderful little moments of accomplishments and see that you are in a place of achievement because if you real recognize and realize that you are making significant changes and that you are being consistent, then you feel more inspired to do so. It becomes more natural and normalized in your routine. Here's the other thing that I want to go over. <clears throat> I've talked to several of you where you all had said, I'm looking at a, a few of my messages about setting boundaries. So some of you are having a difficulty in setting boundaries. There is no better time than now. There's some people like when now, now, now. So you may have noticed in 2021, some relationships were strained. Maybe some of them absolutely dissolved out of thin air. And it's because those vibrational frequencies weren't matching anymore. We don't have to go into all the details at the end of it all. The vibrational match wasn't there. And so you must depart and then make room for the people that do match your vibrational frequency. And so a lot of the times you'll see that in the Venus retrogrades, there's like exes coming back. They're writing you. They're wanting some kind of um, closure or even if it's not an ex, you may have family, friends, people that you had falling outs with or disagreements or, or like ghosting each other, they may have showed up or they're showing up during the Mercury retrograde, uh, Mercury retrograde in Venus, I should say. We have many of them, so we're gonna just talk about this one today. But anyhow, um, so you may notice that old flames, friends, what have you, this is your closure time. It's all up to you on how you wanna handle it. You know, bow out gracefully if you can, because if it wasn't worth to keep and it went away, and if you're still not at that vibrational match, let it be let it be and so you deserve to be with people that are not triggered by your greatness again you deserve to be around people that are not triggered by your greatness just in case i feel someone out there need to hear that and so remember that if these people are no longer in your space it's because you're making space for some other person that is going to be just to be at a space of you both encouraging and uplifting. Because remember, I told you guys in my psychic predictions for 2022, this is about community, unity, networking, connection, bonding, even with people that are not in the same state. That's not necessary anymore. I'm seeing greater heartstrings of love and bond and support and genuineness for people easily. And so this is why I would say 
think about those people that are no longer in your space let them go let them be because you've got newer people that are ready that they can feel you and understand you they get you there's no competition there's no need to even explain you can just be you in front of them and they're going to respect you anyways so that's something i wanted to share as well because i did have a couple of you write me i'm going back to my text messages of when you guys were saying that you were having issues with certain people in your life and that you just wanted to keep them there and so then i said keep them there and you could tell them you could tell the person listen things didn't really work out as i had hoped so it's best that we just stay apart and i wish you the best and that to me is very mature emotional capacities that you can create right now by allowing those boundaries to be set Communication is key in everything. We already know how retrogrades are. So double check your emails. Uh, make sure that the way that you're texting someone may not be misconstrued. That's always hard. I know. So that's why I like doing the voice to text messages as much as I can or little clip videos because I feel there's that warmth and that's that personal touch that I know that my 12 year old self when I was like talking to my friends at school, I would have loved that option. So even if you don't have the opportunity to engage that way, Please be mindful about how you communicate. If you're not comfortable with communicating, then let the person know that you will get back to them at a different time. Communication is key of everything. And you'll notice that in your relationships, in your friendships, in your businesses, things of that nature, or your uh, careers. Okay, here's the other thing that I want to talk to you about. Now that I saw some of your guys' comments. Here's something that I wanted to read from uh, one of my other uh, pages that I have written out. When we were talking about communication and relationships, this is Venus. I love Venus, uh, the goddess of Venus. She is, she's amazing. And she, Venus retrogrades makes us deal with relationship issues. And so... It's really awesome to start healing yourselves during Venus retrograde when it comes to relationship self-love and healing wounds from previous uh, intimate connections because you're showing the divine universe that you are not running, you are confronting it, you're open, you are ready, and you are balancing yourself because you're calling in for something greater in your life. Here's the other thing too. At some point, you got to ask yourself if certain relationships aren't serving you, perhaps they're just unresolvable. Perhaps that was the closure. Perhaps that was the end. It's okay. You, what you can do is what I do tell people during this retrograde. I've had a couple people that I've been talking to with regards to certain relationships that ended. It's been very heavy for people. I tell them to write out a closure letter. Now, sometimes, like, you know, I wrote a closure letter to someone and I got a closure letter back, and you're going to, you know, Expect that someone may respond and not the way that you want. And that's okay too. The whole point of you writing out a closure letter is to express yourself in a manner that would be respectful for you and respectful to the person, but still getting your point across and holding up your boundaries. Now, you can give it to the person if you feel intuitively drawn to do so. You can email it, text it, send them a darn Hallmark card, whatever you want. But... If you don't, here's also just as effective, in my opinion, is you write out a closure letter. You can write out the closure letter to whomever it is that you've had the falling out, the disconnection. Thank them for the time that you've had. I want you to reflect on some wonderful memories and write those out. And then I want you to explain why you have chosen to disconnect and then wish them the best because what you are speaking out venus retrograde venus will send it right back like a boomerang so what you're saying out will come right back so send them their blessings and then if you feel that it would be a, a better cathartic release you can burn the piece of paper you know over your sink where there's water at and then what put the water on and let it burn out and be done and throw it away in your trash can and get it out of the house and get it out of the space or you could just write the closure letter and then you could tear it up because it's all energetic anyways. It's all 
energy, emotions is energy in motion. So you've got to address these things or they're going to keep showing up every retrograde <laughs> through different people or the same people until you learn your lesson. So at the end of everything with Venus retrograde, know your worth, know that your life and the time that you choose how to live it, you can't get it back. Value your time and who you spend it with. And by the way, remember the adage where they say, whom you surround yourself with is what you are perceived as. Get yourself some new circle of friends, huh? <laughs> because if those circle of friends are causing rumors or they're speaking badly about you or they're, cre they're defaming you in a manner, whether it's family, friends, lovers, I don't care who it is. Any other soul that does that to you, get some new ones. Get some others that are not at that vibration as if we were back in high school bullying and mistreating each other so you could feel better that was so long ago we are now in 2022 people <laughs> so that's my energy report for your venus retrograde let me know uh down below in your comments if you've noticed that relationships your self-esteem your self-worth your communication your finances if that's also been something that you've been working on or that you're addressing or that you're noticing how do you approach for yourself, how do you give what you need? Give some ideas for other people to read and to practice for themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Wishing you all love, insight, and healing. Take care, everyone.